This is Strictly Prophetic with the Global Prophet, Apostle Dr. Elijah Kofi King. Tell Mr. John Dramani Mahama, the former president of Ghana, that whether the devil likes it or yes, he is coming to power. Come after December election. Whether the devil likes it or yes, he is coming, he is coming to power. Yes. But why I'm saying this, if it is obvious that he is coming to power, the Spirit of God showed me and the Spirit of God showed me this revelation about six months now. And he keeps repeating it, repeating it. Up until today, he's still repeating it. So now I'm bringing it out. Yes. I saw a lot of Tifri, Tifri around the former president. So, and the Tifri is connected to him winning the election. So the necessary things should be put in place to ensure that his election does not come up, come up with any controversy that will go to court in the name of stolen this and that it is very clear in the realms of the spirit for over six months now the spirit of god has been speaking to me about this consistently every month month he ministers to me about this and if he goes to court it is not going to amount to anything so care must be taken to ensure that those who are planning to steal from him will not manage to steal from him so he doesn't even go to court in the first place hallelujah Amen. Amen. the spirit of god again said to me that whatever is happening to donald trump in a certain way is happening to president former president mahama hmm. because the former president of america they are looking for ways donald trump they are looking for ways to ask to assassinate him and the spirit of god said to me currently they have planted somebody in his team and the person is being paid to bring secrets from the camp of donald trump concerning the things he is planning to do and apart from the secrets they are looking for they are also, they are also looking for ways that they can physically assassinate him gunning him down and the same spirit is hovering around the former president of Ghana also if they cannot take him out spiritually because the spirit of God said even as I'm speaking to you servant of God he has a problem with his chest he has a problem with his heart and that problem he has with his chest and with his heart if indeed it is there then it will be a confirmation that spiritually they have tried him so many times and they have not succeeded and one of the places they have taken him to the idol I saw, they were giving him over to come and kill him and collect his soul from, soul from him was an idol. They used red oil as food to feed the idol. Very strong idol. So you see, in America, they have a former president who lost an election and wants to come back to power. In Ghana, we have a former president who lost an election and also wants to come back, come back to power. So whatever they are planning to do in America, they are planning to do in Ghana here. Former President John Mahama, his own is not only physical. It's spiritual plus physical. And anytime I should talk about him, I give this word that they should take prayer serious. They should take prayer what? Serious. Serious. They shouldn't say the economy is in tatters. So it is obvious you are going to win the election. No, they should take prayer serious and it will help him, it will do him good. Because spiritually, they are trying him to kill him. And someone will say, what is, the, what is the solution? Now listen and listen very careful. If a prophet comes and the only means of transferring his prophetic message is through social media because he doesn't have direct access to transfer his message and you say oh, and you say okay we have heard the message what is the solution in the first place is the message meant for you number one the message is not meant for you so why do you want to know the solution because the moment you bring the message out in order for the message to get to the right intended person same it is up to the person to now look for you because you you have now created an avenue to be looked for if the person doesn't want to look for you then you keep the solution 
But if the person looks for you, then you can now tell them the solution. Because when you now tell them the solution, the enemy that wants to kill them, them that are looking for them, you have also revealed the solution to the enemy. So what is the essence of coming out with the solution? Cause 90 is zero. Do you understand now? Yes. So God is not foolish to put grace as heavy as a global grace upon a man, upon a man without giving a man wisdom. Do you understand? Yes. Without giving the man wisdom. So me, I don't have a way I can reach him. And even if I have a way, I don't trust the people. There is, there is a former president somewhere. I have a very sensitive message about him. The message is that his wife is sleeping with another man. And that man his wife is sleeping with, the man is in the camp or is in bed with his opponents. And he is also on board because when his opponents succeed in taking him out, then he will have free, have free access to his wife. How do you come out publicly with this message? So you give tips of the message. If the man is interested and he values and honors the grace on you and he takes further steps, then you can also go further in revealing some of this sense. Because now if you put it out there, the woman in question is aware. Is aware. The man in question is also aware. Peradventure, if you get a visa and you travel to that country, you have endangered your life because you have been a threat to them. So we don't give this type of prophecy and give solution to it. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So those who love former President Donald Trump, former President Mahama and Mahama, we should pray for them. Both of them are the verge of making history, a comeback history, a second chance opportunity to rule in their various nations and both of them also are at the verge of being attacked spiritually and physically to end their life and therefore prayer should be offered for them praise the name of the lord hallelujah lift up your right hand i pray for the nation of ghana i stand in the gap for the nation of ghana yes all the ritualists that are looking for power for fame for political election and acceptance and they will endanger, endanger the lives of the citizens of Ghana through ritual killing and they will hire people to go about and kill people at night and take body parts may the power of God arrest them may the power of Jehovah arrest them including the politicians that will send them may they all be arrested and, embar and embarrassed Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. and today I stand in this altar for the sake of the gospel yes. i stand in this altar yes. and i offer prayer for former president mahama yes. and i decree and i declare yes, that instead of your death it is your enemies your enemies that will die Amen. it is your enemies that will die Amen. mahama will live and mahama will not die Amen. mahama will live and mahama will not die Amen. you should understand mahama you should understand that the level of envy that has risen against you becoming a second time president incident is Ghana is too heavy it's too heavy it is not a joking matter the level of envy from the people in this nation or certain group of people who do not ever want to see you ah my God and my father my God my God the spirit of God said there is an instrument of power there is an instrument of power that on the day of the inauguration for him to be inaugurated into office as a sitting president there is an instrument of power that, that will go missing and it will go missing because some people will steal, people will steal it mm. even after he has won cleanly some people have sworn heaven and earth that they will never allow him to sit on power and they will say because of that missing instrument that missing something that must be there before he is inaugurated into office office because it is not there they cannot do the inauguration but we offer prayer yes, we offer prayer yes. for president Mahama yes. that whoever has risen Jesus. and whoever shall rise yes. in any in any corridors of power yes. to resist physically or spiritually your inauguration may the power of God remove them 
May the anger of God remove them. Amen. May the judgment of God strike them. Amen. Without mercy and without favor. Amen. Any man or man or woman that has been bought, that will be bought by money, by power, to steal any instrument of power. That on the day of inauguration, because of that missing item, they will postpone it or they will not do it the way it's supposed, it's supposed to be done. My hands are lifted. Jesus. And everybody in this church, your hands are lifted. Yes. And we join our faith together. Yes. May they not escape the anger of God. Amen. May they not escape the judgment of God. Amen. May the judgment of God look for them. Amen. Strike them. Amen. And remove them. Amen. In the name of the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. My God and my Father. Today we have prayed. And the God who answers prayer, yes. He has heard our prayer. Amen. May the Lord protect this man. Amen. May the Lord protect him from any problem connected to him. There's a word that I've gotten for about almost two years now. Uh, this word is more like a, a word of caution and a prophetic counsel. There is going to be a next uh, leader in an African country, the let me see around the West African area. This next leader, leader must pray, or the people who pray for him must pray. And this, the vision keeps coming to me. That is why I'm doing this video to share. In the vision, I saw this next leader collapse. So there's going to be a next president of an African nation, West African nation. But before he mounts the leadership podium or he becomes the next president of that nation i saw a serious attack on him this is about over a year and half vision now and people have confirmed in fact two people have confirmed this thing he may probably have been around the presidency presidency before you know that's just a little clue but let him pray about his heart very serious because i'm seeing if they don't pray before he will be elected into office as the president. It might not be a good news. And if I keep this word, it's, it's burning in me. I've kept it quiet, it's quiet for over a year. But this week I was praying for some nations of the world. And this leader came to me in the visions of the night that I should remember him in prayer. So I have to send this caution. Very serious message to a next president that will be elected very soon. He will become the, next, become the next president of an African nation, West African nation. He will be, but before he will become the next president, let this be on record and let people pray. There's an attack on him. And sure, yeah, if care is not taken before he takes the seat, problem. I don't want to go into details about the visions, but I saw an arrow that was, that was pointing at his chest. Straight arrow. Yes. And it's a serious scheming. And the Lord keeps telling me, and my visions by the grace of God hardly misses. So when it comes to me like that, I have to be forced to say it. But um, the reason why I'm doing this is that two people that I believe I trust have also confirmed this. Confirmed this. Yes. So the name is withheld. But West African nation, next president, he will be the next president. That one he will be. But before he will sit on the chair, before he will sit on the chair, that arrow on his heart collapsed. He was rushed. We pray for him. We pray for him. We pray for him. For him. Hmm. We pray for him. Let him be careful of his food also. His food. He shouldn't be eating at social gatherings. And his, his food and his water, handshake, three things. He should be careful of his food, his water, his handshakes. He's a good man who loves God. He will become the next president. He will, be, he will become. But we are praying for him. The Lord will rescue him. And let his people begin to pray. So if you have anybody in West Africa who wants to be a president, there's a time they have to pray for him. And if his people feel he's going to be the next president of the West African nation, then they have to pray for him. They have to pray. They have to pray. They have to pray for him. They have to pray for him. They may think that they have an easy part or they have an easy win. This one, yeah, he's the one who will be there next president well they may have a point but spiritually it's not over not over
I'm seeing some um, bridges with huge with with huge holes and gaps in it before they sit. Yes, dangerous. They should pray. They should pray. My name is Brother Clement, your prophet. God bless you. I'm praying for this man that Kaleva Zombrando Zevekadoses. The Lord will keep him in Jesus' name. Share this video. Uh, you can write your view down. You can write your comments. If the Holy Ghost leads you, the one you think is the next president I'm referring to. And if they see this video, wherever they are in Africa or in this world, and they have the Holy Spirit in them, they will know that this is a confirmation. This message came to me one and a half years ago, but I'm led to say it now. And last week, the Holy Ghost said, send it out so that they pray because the time for him to become the president is very near. But before, before he mounts the throne or the seat, <laughs> and easy. pray for that West African next president. The Lord bless you. I pray for his wife and his children that it will be well with him. He should take his health seriously. Unfunny health. Let, let him take his health seriously. Let him take his health seriously. Let him take his health seriously. In the name of Jesus. God bless you. Because God wants you to be strong for the work he has mandated you in the realm of the spirit. God bless you. And we love you with love of Jesus. We are praying for you. As I've spoken, as I've spoken, I've, I've begun praying. The fact is that I've been praying for over one year now. But I'm doing this video because I want to raise more people to pray. Yes, that's why I'm doing this video. The, the reason why I'm doing this is to raise more voices, those who love him, to pray for him. As I'm speaking, I feel it in my chest. And he himself, he has had dreams of it, of it many times. Uhuwe, if he sees this video and he's with the Holy Ghost, he will know I'm not lying. Yes. The Lord bless you, sir, and keep you. Share this video to caution him and then to be a blessing to others. Those who love him, raise intercessory prayers. I know you will say you have not mentioned him, but if you are smart in the, in the spirit, you know who I'm referring to. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Erade, and what I come home by were years of the Amen. There's a word that I've gotten for about almost two years now. Uh, this word is more like a, a word of caution and a prophetic counsel. There is going to be a next uh, leader in an African country. The, let me see, around the West African area. This next leader, leader must pray or the people who pray for him must pray. 